Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Chioma Tech TV. I am Chioma and today I'll be teaching you guys how to do coding. So excited, but before we start, please like and subscribe to my channel. Always click the notification button so that I never miss a video because I'm going to be posting a lot. So without further ado, let's get started. We will be using RF code or code.org to learn coding. It is a very easy to understand method and I hope you like it. Coding always looks very hard or dynamic if I may say, but it's not always what it seems most times. If you have someone to guide you through the process from beginning to end, you'll find out it's not so hard after all. So let's start learning how to code. Hmm, what is coding? According to the dictionary, coding or programming is a way of designing instructions for computers using data processing. Coding is most often used in creating websites, systems, networks, and other technologies we interconnect with on a daily basis. Today, we will be learning beginner's coding with coding blocks. For a start, we will be learning the easiest one, so relax and listen attentively so that by the end of this video, you will grab your computer and have fun with coding, just like me. Please let me know in the comments what else you would like me to teach. I will be sharing my screen right now, so follow me step by step. The first thing we're going to do is go into your browser and type in Hour of Code. Now because I, my face cam is so big you can't see it, so I'm going to move my face cam so that you can see what I'm typing. Now let's go into my browser and type in Hour of Code. Type in Hour of Code. Once you type that and press enter, click on the first website you see, which is this Hour of Code um, big right here. When you click on that, it should take you to this web page right here. Press try it and then it should take you to their home page of games. You could do so many coding games. I'll be teaching you that later on in my channel. But today we're going to be playing Dance Party. So click on Dance Party and press start. Now, after you click on Dance Party and press start, there's two, there's two dance parties you can click on. Keep on dancing or just regular dance party. Click on start from, keep, from dance party and it should take you to puzzle number one. Once you click on that, you should be ready to go. Now you see there's a video in front of you and it says warm up. Now you should watch that video if you're a beginner, but if you already watched it before, then you can just skip the video and go on to the instructions. But for people who have never done it, I recommend you do the video. Once you're done, you need to type in your age and then we will continue. Time to read the instructions. Now, the instructions are make the new cat at center block into the workspace and connect it inside the setup block. Choose cat or sloth to create your first dancer. Press OK and then as you can see they already did it for us. But I'm going to take it out so I can show you. Then you drag the make new cat at center into the setup block and then you press run. Once you press run, you should hear some music. You can choose any song you want from right here. It says select song and then we're going to press run. Time to press run in three, two, one. As you can see, there is a cat in the middle. Oh my gosh, there is an actual cat in the middle. It's so cool. <laughs> and that's it. Cool. Let's press continue. Once you press continue, you should move on to puzzle number two. Now you see another video in front of you. It says events. Remember to watch that video and then click the X so that you can go to the instructions and read it with me. The instructions are when up pressed block lets you run code when you press the arrow buttons. Use the cats do clap once block to make the cat clap. Make sure to press your up arrow key or at up after clicking the run button. So what you're going to do, is they already put down the one up is pressed. I'm not going to put down the one down. Actually, I'm going to put it down. Now, the cats do clap once. You're going to put that under up. And then you could choose any song for the uh, down. So just click on clap. I'm going to choose random song for something totally unpredictable. And then I'm going to click, I'm going to press run. Now, we are ready to press run. I will press red in three, two, one. Look! And now I'm gonna press up. And the cat claps when you press down. The cat does a random move. When I press up and down, the cat does a random move. Now we press continue and move on to number three. Now in number three, the instructions are it's time for a dance off. Program each dancer to move when you press different keys. 
Choose your favorite move for each dancer or set it to random for something totally unpredictable. Now, they, they already did some of the work for us. They already made the cat and the bear. They already put the bears do random. Now I'm going to put the cats do random block under down. And then when I press run, then they should both do some random things when I press up or down. On your mark, get set, go. Now as you can see, they're doing random things whenever I press up or down, which is really cool. And once it's done, it's going to be time for number four. Now it's time for number four, measures. As you can see, there's another video. Remember to watch the video and then move on to the instructions with me. Now, these instructions are, let's get the dancers moving in time with the music. Connect the after four measures block to a shark's do this or that forever block from the toolbox. Your dancer should start a move after the fourth measure. Measures are used to count time and music. In this tutorial, a measure is four beats long. So I'm going to take the shark's do this or that forever block and I'm going to hook it under the after four measures. Now I don't want it to do this or that so I'm going to put randomized. And then I'm going to press run. Three, two, one. As you can see, after four measures, the shark should do a random dance. And I also love this song. And come on, shark, do a random dance. Oh, now he's doing this. Yes, I'm following the shark. <laughs> That's fun. Now it is time for number five. Press continue and let's get on. Now, for number five, there is no video, so you don't need to watch anything. But, so let's do the instructions. Now we're grooving. Add an after six measures block to your workspace. Make the dancers start a new move after six measures. That's it. So, after six measures, pull that to your workspace. Drop it. And then do a, f and then ask your frogs to do a new move. So, I'm going to put the frogs do clap high forever block. And let's see what the frogs do. Three, two, one. I have to have the same sound because I really love it. So frogs are doing two measures, three measures, four measures, and now it's doing the plus. I like the plus. And now after six measures, it's gonna do the clap high forever. Clap, 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 clap. I like it. Clapping. Okay, time for number six. There are only ten puzzles, so don't worry. Time for number six. In number six, there are new instructions with no video, so you don't need to watch anything. Use this block to set up a group of smaller backup dancers around the lead, lead dancer in the middle. Make new blank, new blank in a circle. Now you can create a whole bunch of backup dancers at once. Okay, so they already said the background effect, but I want it to be electronic and uh, random. And now I'm going to make a new unicorn at center, except I'm going to change it to a cat, because I like cats. And then I'm going to make 10 new slots in a circle, but I'm actually going to make that 20, 20 new bears in the circle, because I like bears better. Bears are pretty. So 20 new bears in the circle, and then... Now we're done. Now we're going to use the one up is press thing. And we're going to make them do Gandan style forever. As soon as I find Gandan style. Just click on that and look for the dance you want. You know what? I'm just going to do the floss. And press run in 3, 2, 1. Now, whenever you press up, they should do the floss. <laughs> and look, I'm making it a little effect. Uh, 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 uh. Wee! <laughs> And look, there are 20 bears behind him. And now it's time for number seven. Continue, and let's get on with the move. For number seven, there is a video called Properties. Now, Properties is another video. I forgot what it is, but we're going to read the instructions. Remember to watch the whole entire video, and then press X and follow me with the instructions. These instructions are, every dancer has a set of properties that controls what it looks like. Use the set blank size to blank under a grid event block to make dancers appear closer or farther away. So what that means is we have to put set pineapples to 50, except I'm going to change this to all. 
and then I need to choose which size we want them to be. Now I want them all to turn to one, size one. Then we're going to press run and see what they do. Three, two, one, go. Same song because I love it. Whoa, 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 whoa. The dogs and the pineapples are just dancing like oof. And now, as you can see, they are all gone missing. Oh my gosh. They are all gone missing because there's this tiny little specks. If you saw that, you're really good. I can see they're tiny, tiny, tiny specks. That because that they're only, they're only size one. Anyways, let's go on to puzzle number eight. Oh, I'm so excited guys. Please remember to like and subscribe and always click the notification button so that I never miss a video. Time for the next instructions. There is no video. These instructions are, dancers have a tint property that can add a layer of color. Try changing the tint of one of your dancers or an entire group. So I'm going to choose this set unicorn's tint too after four measures. Um, I'm going to set this to purple. I'm going to set all of them to purple. And let's see what it does. Three, two, one. Now they are just dancing. Woohoo! Remember, you can change the song before you press start. No, there it goes. They're all purple. As you can see, they're all purple. I can't believe it. Time for number nine, guys. Time for number nine. Please let me know in the comments what else you'd like me to teach. This is the new. This is the new instructions. There's no video. Don't worry. This new block is a special kind of event that's triggered over and over. Repeat every two measures. By placing the other blocks in your toolbox inside the repeat block, you can repeatedly change dancer's properties over time. Be creative and have fun. When you're done, press the finish button right here. So, they already said it. Um, I'm not going to change the sound effects. I'm going to change the border because I don't want them to be robots. I want them to be bears. Uh, the background dancers and then I want this to be a cat and of course I don't want it to be border let me see if I can find a square can I find a square anywhere okay I'll just put them around them and then every two measures let's see um, I'll do forever and then I'm gonna put every four measures because I'm gonna take a new block I'm gonna change it to just click on it change it to four measures and then I'm gonna put um, all then I'll do a random thing forever I'll do random. So I'm going to go all. And I'm going to click red now. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my gosh, they were set up to the random. Look what, the, look what these bears are doing right here. I'm just like, no. Oh, okay. So now they're doing a random move. Every two to four measures, they do random moves. And I love it. Oh my gosh. So now that we are done. It's time to finish and go to number 10, my favorite stage that I skip to every time. So press continue and let's go. Number 10 is my favorite because it is when you can imagination can go wild, whatever you want. You can take anything I tell you, put it into this dance, and it can make amazing, amazing dance party music. Remember to watch the video and then read the instructions. Get your groove on. Create a dance of your own to share with your friends. Now, I'm going to create my own dance, and I'll be back to you once I'm done. Okay? Now, it is time for me to show you everything that I have done. Now, in the setup block, I put all do random forever, set background effect to electronic and spiral, I made 20 new bears in the circle, and a cat at the center, because you know I love cats. When up is pressed, all do random and randomize all size, and that's basically all I did for down, right, left, and space. If Since I'm on a computer, I'll put space, but if you're on an iPad, I don't think that option is going to come to you. Anyways, it's time for me to show you what the song looks like all together. Are you guys ready for this? I hope you guys are ready because I love it. Okay, three, two, one. Look! <laughs> They're randomizing in all sides and they're doing like everything. Like they're doing any sides that they have and then they're randomizing all the sides. <laughs> Look how cool this looks. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Please remember to like and subscribe. 
always click the notification button so that you never miss a video because I'm going to be posting a lot. And remember, next time you turn up on my coding, I will be teaching you guys how to code your own name. Please like and subscribe with notifications on so that you never miss a video. But now I have to leave, sad. But thank you. I love you guys. Bye. Mwah. I love you guys.